Hello everyone, Reverse here. Today, we will gonna make a particular effect. I'm gonna use this clip for my effect. And I have already Twixter this clip. If you don't know how to use the Twixter plugin, then watch my this video. I've explained how to use the Twixter plugin. I'll leave the link on my description. So let's start with this video. Let's create a new solid. And name it particular. Hit OK. Now go to effects and presets and search for particular. Now drag this to the solid layer. So here's you can see this designer option. Click on it. OK, so here we gonna make our particle. Now double click on this emitter option and set it to box. Again go to the emitter option. And set the particle sec to 225 and set the emitter size to individual. Set the X value to 3000. Y value to 3000. And Z value to 4000. Now let's make the particle type life seconds to 6. And life random to 35. And go to the size and rotation and set the size to 8. And size randomness to 50. Now go to opacity. And set it to bell curve. Now click on apply. Click on this emitter option. And scroll down. And now set this periodicity random to 100%. Now you can see we have particles in our clip. But we need to adjust this. So drag this solid to the left to where we want our particles to start. Okay, this looks good. So I will start my particles from here. As you can see, we have successfully created the particles. Now, we just have to do some adjustments. We will add some glows on these. And I want these particles to follow the Rasengan. It's going to the Y direction. So I want these particles to go at the same direction. So let's go to the designer option. And go to the motion effects. Here you can control the particle to any direction. We need our particles to go on Y direction. So we will play with the Y value. So let's set this Y value to minus 350. And hit apply. Now, as you can see, it going to the same direction. It looks much better now. So let's add some glow to these particles. I'm using deep glow. If you don't have deep glow, then you can use the normal glow. Check this option. Set the radius to 150. And exposure to 0.75. By the way, I'm using this FX console from Video Copilot. Most of you probably know about this. But if you don't, then you must try this plugin. It's a free plugin. It will make your workflow much faster on After Effect. So you must check it out. I will leave a download link to my description. Okay, so we almost done with the effect. But we need to add some movement to these clips. So select both of the clips. And pre-compose it. And I'll name it. Let's say, Boruto Rasengan, click on this section, and hit OK. Now add a null object, and parent this with our clip. And double click to this icon, and press S on your keyboard, and add a keyframe to the starting section, and drag this to end section, and set the starting value to 150%. And now select the both keyframe and press F9 on your keyboard, and click on this graph section, and select these handles. And now, adjust the handles to something like this. Okay, so here we have successfully created our particle effect. With some glows, and movement, it looks amazing. Okay everyone, I hope you had fun with this tutorial. And if you facing any problem with this tutorial, then comment down below, and I will try to solve it, and also add some sound effects, and some voice, and some color grade, to this effect, and find a good song, which fits the edit, and try making this effect with different anime clips and have fun.